hey, did you know there are some fungi that control the brains of their insect victims and then kill them? You see, there's this one genus of fungi, which are these parasitic organisms that infect ants and other insects. And they do so by releasing these chemicals called phenylacetonitriles or pan together with other chemicals. Not only do these chemicals act on the insect's nervous system, but it also triggers the release of neurotransmitters in the brain. So the fungus essentially hijacks the brain, taking over the motor functions and sensory systems of the ants. And then the fungus starts to take over the colony. It's now a fruiting body of this parasitic fungus, and it will continue to spread the spores and infect more ants and start the process all over again. And together they form this kind of cocktail that the ants are really, really sensitive to. And the more chemicals that are released into the air, the more susceptible the ants become until basically the fungus takes over the entire colony. It's like an anesthetic for us humans. They become paralyzed. They can no longer move. But that's not the worst part. As the fungus continues to grow, it starts to produce more and more of these chemicals completely overwhelming the ants. And this is really crazy because the fungus actually starts to change the behavior of the ants. So it starts to target the elates, which are the reproductive members of the colony. And it compels them to leave the nest. They start to fly around in this erratic, just kind of crazy way. There are all these fungi out there that can control the brains of their insect victims and then kill them. And it is a really important thing to study because these fungi are a natural form of pest control. And by understanding how they work, we can potentially use them to our advantage. And they bite down on leaves and twigs and other parts of plants and they just kind of stay there. They become locked in this position and this is called stridulating. And it's basically like the death throes of the ant. And after about a week or so, the fungus has completely taken over. The original identity of the ant is completely gone. It's no longer an ant. So this is a really, really scary thing to think about. Specimen use made possible by a university museum of zoology.